Good day to you. I love this modern parable with its agricultural slant. Each year, a certain farmer entered his mealies in the local agricultural show. The mealies he grew were award-winning ones. When the newspaper reporter interviewed the farmer, it was revealed that the farmer shared his seed with his neighbours. Amazed, the reporter asked, How can you afford to share your best seed with your neighbours when they are entering their mealies in competition with yours each year? The farmer smiled knowingly and explained, The wind picks up pollen from the mealy stamens and whirls it from field to field. If my neighbour grew inferior mealies, cross-pollination will steadily degrade the quality of my mealies. If I am to grow good mealies, I must help my neighbours grow a good crop. So it is with our lives. Those who want to live meaningfully and well must help enrich the lives of others. For the value of life is measured by the lives it touches. For the welfare of each is bound up with the welfare of all. In this COVID-19 pandemic, we wear masks not only to protect ourselves, but to protect others. This applies to all the protocols. We are in this together and we are here to help others especially those on the front line. We even help by not getting infected, by not becoming a statistic. In Luke's Gospel, chapter 10 and verses 25 to 37, we read the story of the Good Samaritan, teaching us to love our neighbour as we love ourselves. We need to look after one another, our families, those with whom we work and all those whom our lives touch in any way. It's physical, it's emotional, it's spiritual. As we help others, so we grow in every way to be mature in our Christian life, in our relationship with God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, and with our fellow human beings. There's no place for selfishness in the Christian life. We need not only to treat others as we would like to be treated, but to go further and love one another as he has loved us. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, instill in us that concern, that caring, that love for one another, even when it means tough love, when gentle caring seems to fail, that we may be as Christ to our neighbour and especially to our own family. Yes, during this pandemic and throughout our lives on this earth. For your love's sake we ask this. Amen. Go now in the love of God to love one another as he has loved you. Amen.
so thankful that you're a God of love, compassion, mercy, grace. Lord, our world is so full of hate. If we could just love each other the way you love us, what a different world this would be. Help us love God. This is our prayer. Help us love, 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 oh, love one another. Love one another, for God you are love.